Hello, New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today is the 31st of May 2021. If I can start with the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to this channel, that'd be marvellous. I'd appreciate that. Right, here's, here's one today that uh, ob obscure band from the good old original New Wave of British Heavy Metal days called Kraken. You might remember him, you might not. If you do, Great, if you don't, discover them. Because uh, those good people at Obscure Nwabam releases have pulled another rabbit out of the hat and unearthed Kraken from, from the old days as, as yet another of those lost bands from the new wave of British, British heavy metal and this, this time they, they've managed to unearth Kraken's stuff. Now the band were, were formed in the late 1970s and they were a bit unusual from the norm as, as regards musical style. Sure, it's heavy stuff, it's going on and there's plenty of it, but such is the songwriting ability that, that, that the members of Kraken had, they had they were able to stretch out into all sorts of weird stuff. That it's, it, there's quirky time changes, sometimes it's a bit dark, sometimes a bit progressive. There's even, on, on odd times, a little bit of like freeform jazz, you know, Spinal Tap, Jazz Odyssey. And there's even a bit of reggae creeps in uh, at one point, right? But overall, it, it's marvellous stuff, it, it really is. So what we've got here, again, th thanks to Obscure and the Wobbin releases, is a limited edition CD. There's uh, 500, as, as is usually the case in, in these kind of things. And what, what, what would they've put together is the band's sole single from back then and a four-track demo that they recorded in 1982. There's only half an hour of music or just, just a few minutes over, but it's it's a thrilling half hour listen, it really is. Takes a few spins to properly get into, though what once you do and the penny drops, you'll you'll be able to appreciate just how different but yet how good Kraken were. As to the music, uh, fantasy reality, slightly doomy dark, punchy rocker pounding along, tasty opener. Dead Man's Dreamland is, is kind of similar, but some of that quirkiness starts to, to come in as well, which makes it all that more enjoyable. And then the third track on that single is, is simply outstanding. Uh, expansive indeed, and it's called Winged Bulls of Ninev. I, I hope I pronounced that last, song, that la last word right. And what Kraken must have done when they were writing this Winged Bulls of Ninev they must have gone out to the local DIY store, walked up to the counter and said, right, how many kitchen sinks have you got? Because we'll take them all because we're going to chuck them at this song. And th that's what they probably did because such is the range and sheer variety that they pack in to, to, to this song. It's just incredible. It's got the lot and then some. Sure, it rocks hard. There's big chords, there's riffs, there's solos, fast bits, slow bits, quirky bits, and then there and back again. Uh, how can I describe it? Mm -hmm. Something like late 70s Rush. Well, mid 70s. Think a bit of Fly By Night and a bit of Hemispheres. Uh, some Max Webster, for, for those of you that, that, that might remember Max Webster. And a bit of Black Sabbath as well. It, it's, it's just incredible. Then we move on to the, that four track demo from 1982. Freak Show, Saurian God, The Destroyer and The Hydra. Now, th these four songs are generally more what you might call straight-ahead, traditional New Wave of British Heavy Metal style affairs, though each of them is unique because they've got that quirkiness, a uh, bit of progginess going on as well. Check out The Hydra, for example. Yes, it's an excellent rocker. It's got a chunky riff, and there's a bit of reggae-style interlude comes into it before a nice big measured solo comes in, leading to a bit of an epic finish. Kraken, sure enough, had the ability, and they were that bit different, and a bit different in a good way to many of their peers from back then, but sadly it wasn't enough to see that the band make it. And whilst that is a shame, the Kraken has been released, forgive me a pun, thanks to obscure Nawabam releases. Uh, so today's the 31st of May 2021. Uh, it was released just a few days ago from when I'm, I'm uh, recording this. Uh, as, as I mentioned, it is a limited run of uh, just 500 copies. I managed to get one uh, from, from directly from Obscure and the Wobbin releases. 
as I'm recording this, they are still showing copies available, as are uh, other places I normally get stuff like this from, such as Sonic Age Records and No Remorse. But as it is just 500, act fast if you'd like a copy for yourself, because Kraken is really recommended, highly recommended, lost new wave of British heavy metal. I've put links in the description below to both, to well, to all of Obscure, Nawabam releases, Sonic Age Records and No Remorse, so you can go and check out if there are any available if you'd like one, and there's also a link back to the post on the blog if you'd like to read that as well. So, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that'd be marvellous. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and of course, do take care.